Hello everybody, Lord Verminard back again in my garage. Check out these two like freaking units here. So we did some races last time and these were both, these both did pretty well. I was pretty happy about it. So I think I need to finish this thing up. Um, I need to paint it. I need to finish the body work. I need to put an actual working mirror on it. I, and I think I'm going to swap out these tires for bigger ones because reasons. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, we'll get on that today. What what actually happens today uh, it could be anybody's guess. So, um, yeah, we'll just uh, roll with it and see what happens. So, anyways, I don't have a whole lot of money right now. So, maybe I should do a job or two. Kind of. Which means I need to get these things out of the way of the customer parking. So, yeah. And also, I'm pretty sure I put these windows down before, but now they were up when I started the game. So that's cool. All right. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing great. I'm doing really well. I was uh, working on a car today for most of the day. Now I'm going to work on virtual cars. So I guess that's just the way my day is looking today. Okay, yeah, let's move this thing out of the way here. Blech. Assuming I still remember how to play this game. I always seem to forget. All right? Still runs. Uh, let's see here. Reverse is one of these here buttons. There we go. All right. Nobody coming. Just mash keys randomly until we uh, get the result we want. All right. Perfect. That's good. Oh, by the way, if you are enjoying my content, please leave a like. And if you're not subscribed, think about subscribing. I would really appreciate that. And another thing, I definitely want to shout out one of my one of my amazing members, uh, BorgHild underscore driving, uh, sent me a super thanks, $20 Canadian, I believe. Um, absolutely legendary. So thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Everyone should be jealous because that was awesome. Um, that, that means a whole lot. That's a uh, that's a huge deal for me, so thank you. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. You know what I could do for money? I could probably sell these sucker these uh these trophies here. These suckers are probably worth a little bit, I think. Because otherwise we're just gonna sit here. Maybe I should just collect them. I don't know. Just have a whole shitload of trophies laying around. <laughs> that might be kind of funny. Alright, uh let's do a job or two. Let's see if we can get a little extra cash in our pocket here. Uh, no, $120, $120 to paint something? I don't think so. Windshield rust. Yeah, I'll take that job. 200 bucks, Really? Yeah, this is going to be about as minimal. You're going to get a $200 job here. This is going to be about as minimal as possible. Or maybe nothing at all because I don't see any rust on this thing. Uh, why aren't you crouching there, dude? Crouch. There we go. And flashlight. Okay. Um. Uh. Okay. Maybe this is a freebie job? Oh, that's the knee for God. Why? I, I was clearly pointing at this car like <sighs> Okay, well, I would love to fix the rust, but I don't see any there's none I, I there's there's nothing What the hell is going on here? There's none under there. There's none up in those areas. I mean, this is such a low paying job. I'm about to just bin it here. Oh, there we go. Okay, I just had to do it twice. All right. Freebie job. I don't mind the freebie jobs. Uh, let's see here. Paint 700 bucks. Okay, I'll take that job. 
What do we got here? What do we got? So there's no rust to fix. That's great. Uh, so it's just a different color that we need to do. What? Current color, 858669. Original color, 858669. So that's just not the color that this is? I guess. All right. 858669? Yeah. 858669. Oh my god. Okay. Color 858669. Uh. Okay, that looks right. So give me one, two, three, four of those. Maybe I can do this in four. All right. Okay, so yeah, I'm still getting used to my new keyboard. Um, but for the most part, I like it. I, uh, I did not realize this getting buying a keyboard but holy crap what kind of rabbit hole have i gotten myself into with mechanical keyboards people are serious about this kind of stuff my god it's it's unbelievable um i am of the nature that i do not want my keyboard to make a bunch of noise and and for some reason, everyone thinks that a mechanical keyboard has to make noise. Which I know that that's, that's not, you know, they don't have to. Uh, but I, and I also can't understand why somebody would want that. I don't know. That's just, maybe, is, am I weird? Am I the strange one? Like, I get, like, the nostalgia of old, I mean, I, when I was a kid, you know, we, snuck into Canyon College's um, buildings, and somehow we all had Vax accounts. I'm not sure how we even got that, but all of our all of my friends had it. And we'd go in and use their green screen terminals and uh, play MUDs online. We had a lot of fun doing that. And those, those types of keyboards made a lot of noise. They were very, very, very loud. And so it was a little bit funny. But, like... I don't understand why somebody would want that now. That's very weird. It would drive me nuts. I mean, the, the keyboard that I have now is too loud. Like, I've, I've been looking for, like, silent switches. And so, I, like, I'll, I'll listen to, like, sound clips of people using a keyboard with so-called, quote-unquote, silent switches, and they're loud as hell. Like, that is not silent. That's that's loud. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't get it. It's weird. I mean, everybody's got preferences, and... Just because they don't match mine doesn't mean that they're wrong. Uh, but it's just it's just very bizarre. And another thing I can't figure out is all of the gaming keyboards out there that are 10 keyless. Like, I, I use the number pad in every game that I play. I mentioned this on the other video where I was taught when I was complaining about the different keyboards that are available. But I, I use it in every game. I mean, I always have stuff mapped in the number pad. I use the number pad all the time. Anytime I type a number while well, I'm just typing, I use the number pad. I don't use the ones above the keys. Because it's faster that way. For me. And, and like every gaming keyboard out there is a 10 keyless. And I can't figure out why anybody would want that either. It's really weird. Oh, it saves desk space. Like, well, most of the time, like the 10 keyless keyboards have the, like the arrow key quadrant and stuff there. And it's like, we're talking like three more inches of space on the keyboard for a number pad. Like, is that, is that three inches like super critical? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. I've just discovered that people are really weird about their keyboard preferences. And like I said, you know, if that's the way you are, then that's fine. But, uh, I just find it very strange. I don't know. I like low profile keyboards. Um... Which apparently that puts me in a minority as well, because everybody else likes full size ones. Full height ones, I should say. Uh, I cannot use a full height keyboard, man. It makes me crazy. And so, because of that, like getting different switches for this keyboard, being a low profile keyboard, is not something that's going to be very easy to do. So, that's kind of a bummer. And I didn't. I should have probably researched that a little bit more before I went out and bought it. But and then again, my choices are very limited. 
in a reasonably priced low profile gaming keyboard. So, you know, I'm not buying a $200 Corsair or a $200 Razor. That's insane. But hey, if you, uh, um, if people want to keep sending me super thanks for, you know, 20 bucks or more, like, like our good friend, um, Borg Hill Driving did, then I could probably afford one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I'm not looking for, for pity money. Only do it if you feel like doing it, of course. All right, where are we at on this thing? Enough BSing around here. That job is done. All right, that was very straightforward. I like money. I like $700. Let's do another one. No. What's this? $805? Oh, okay. So sometimes these trucks can be a bit of a bear. Speaking of the bear, watching the new season of the bear right now. If anybody hasn't watched that show yet, you need to, because it's probably one of the best shows that's ever been on television. Oh my god, is it so good. But, anyways, not sponsored. Aha! There's the rust. Alright. Uh, does that mean I have to take off the door panel? Uh, probably does. Fine, I'll get my wrench. Oh, looky here, we got some over here too. What about this door? This door is probably okay. And where the hail is my wrench. Right there it is. Okay. All right. Uh, let's pop this off. What? Oh, yeah, that's, uh... That's, uh, fooked, bro. Well, I got the tools. Boom! Fixed. All right, there we go. Uh, but if I get lucky, I might only even have to paint this thing. All right, yeah, we got we got a little weirdness going on with the angles here. Nothing we can't sort out. All right, I might need the oh, I might need the blaster for that one here. Or we can just do that and it'll be fine. All right. Uh, where are we at now? Oh, I know some jobs are missing. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, color condition. All right. Uh, so this is A59D8C. 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 Give me a can of that. Looked almost exactly the same as the color of that, whoop, color of that lad that I just painted. There's that. And around here we go. There we go. All right, let's slap on this door panel while the well, the game decides if the job is done or not here. Hey, just duck. There we go. Grab this. There we go. Where are we at? Boom. Get it out of here. That was easier. Good lord. That was easier than the, uh, than that, um, Chad that I just did. Okay, then. Hmm. <clears throat> One more job. Let's get it. Let's get an even 5k here. Nope. 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 Let's see. I see some rust right there. Okay, this door looks okay. Rockers look okay. At least on this side they do. Don't see anything down. Oh, yes. That's always a tricky spot right there. 
That spot's even hard to paint. Looks like it's just on one surface there, so that shouldn't be too hard to remove. All right, nothing back there. Uh, okay, that looks all right. All right, this might be an easy job here. Let me um, get my implement and go to town with it. Okay, that should have gotten rid of that there. I don't see any more. All right, this is going to be the tricky part. Okay, what's going on here? Come on now. Ooh, I think we got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. She's clean. All right. Where's the rust? Sweet. Oh, that's the freaking Neve again. God, son of a monkey of monkeys. Okay, I think we got it. Okay, so 317347. 317347. 317347. Looks good to me. Oh, God. I had totally hit the wrong keys there. All right. Still getting used to it. One thing my the laptop keyboard had is it had a, you know how like the, like the J and F keys, the home keys have the, have like a little tactile thing on them so you can tell which ones you're on before you touch them. Uh, the keyboard on my, um, on my laptop has one of those on the W key as well, which I really, really appreciated. So I always knew if my finger was on the W key for movement and stuff. Okay. Oh, for God's sakes, why does it keep doing that? All right. All right, we'll just wait a second. And then we'll do this again. There we go. Hey, sweet. $1,400 paint job, and that was an easy one. All right, I think that gives me more than enough money to do fun stuff with tires and to get this thing finished out. Uh, it needs a lot of stuff, though. I need... Um, I need proper headlights. I need another marker light. Uh, it needs taillights, of course. Uh, I need to decide if I'm going to do bumpers. I don't think I'm going to do bumpers. I'm going to leave it without bumpers. And then I need to figure out how much of the interior I'm going to put in it. Uh, I'm pretty sure we need glass, like, everywhere, except for the windshield. Um, that winder's broken. This one's not, and there's glass on this side, too. How about that? Wow. Can't remember the last time I had a junkyard car with working wipers, or working uh, window lifters. Yeah, this one is definitely broken, though. And I can't tell if there's glass in there or not. I don't think there is. Probably not. Okay, well, um... Yeah, I think since it's a race car, I don't really need any other interior. I've got these panels back here. We got to paint it too, though. Um, I don't have any idea what color I want to paint this thing. Oh, that's a bolt. I thought that was rust. Okay. Uh, let's see. I, I didn't even think about this ahead of time. Well, that's kind of cool. Oh, let's do that. Sure. Well, we've committed. <laughs> it is done.
kind of a purple lavender, I guess. I don't know. Not bad, though. Yeah, so uh, I was working on my wife's car today. Finally got all the parts in. Um, so I re completely rebuilt the heater box. So new, um, new evaporator, new heater core, new pipes, new seals, new uh, expansion valve for the AC, um, new O-rings on everything. Um, yeah, new pipes for the, uh, heater core, new outlets for the heater core, pipes, uh, seals and clamps, and then I, you know, vacuumed out the whole box, and, well, I had it apart, and wiped everything down, um, cleaned the blower motor out, because I'd already replaced that once, uh, lubed all of the, um, all of the plastic gears and everything for all the different solenoids and crap. Because it has automatic climate control, so it there's like 8,000 different little flapper motors and things, and they all work together to divert air to wherever it needs to go. Super, super complicated. Uh, and I managed to get it back in the car, which I thought was going to be the hardest part. It actually wasn't so bad. So now, uh, all I got to do is put the rest of the dash together. So I'm sure that'll be just fine. It was like three months ago when I started taking it apart. So uh, hopefully I don't forget anything. Probably will. Yeah, big job. Big job. And I'm kind of in a rush to do it, too, because we're going to be going on a road trip. And we're not taking her car, we're taking mine, but I also need to fix something on my car, too. I need to fix a wheel bearing. At least I think that's what it is. Uh, and my car also needs new tires and an alignment done, so... <sighs> Nothing like trying to keep old cars going, man. Still cheaper than a new one. Just getting hard now, like my Beetle's a 2005, so getting parts is not as easy as it used to be. Oh, I hope that's dirt there and not rust. Let me see if I can clean that. Damn it. All right. Let's get our blaster, and we'll fix that real quick before I waste too much paint. Why does that look like that? Pick it up! Okay. Okay, looks fine now. It was weird. All right. For some reason, these these neves take a lot of paint. Don't really know why exactly. Okay, stand up, please. There we go. Um, all right, so far so good. Okay, I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to like jump in here to get this part. This always makes me nervous because the game sometimes freaks out <laughs> when you're climbing around inside the cars. Oh, 
Oh crap. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. Thought it was gonna shoot me through the ceiling there. Can't really tell what I'm painting here. The light is doing weird stuff. Ah oh, hell, I missed a couple spots there. All right. Need more paint. Probably just one more can, I guess. Okay, let's hop back in here. Okay. Okay, there we go. Yep, not awkward at all. Not not, uh, not awkward at all. Okay. Boink. All right. I kind of like that color. It's um probably not a color that I would have on any of my personal vehicles, but it kind of looks cool. All righty then. I think I just need to paint the inside of this door and then we are good to go. Perfect. Yeah, so I've heard I've heard Scapegoat say that one of his friends had a lot of Neve. And so they that means they sold these suckers in Canada, I guess. Which kind of blows my mind. So I wonder how hard it would be to get one into the United States. Oh, you know what I need to <laughs> I need to fix that. That's a that's a uh for sure. Not that I have the money to facilitate such a thing, nor do I even need one, but if I could get one, that would be... Just knowing that I could get one would be awesome. <laughs> I love these stupid things. Okay. I cannot believe that it lets me close the hood on this. Most of the time it doesn't let you do that. So... That's giving me a free pass. Alright, what color is this? Six four six zero eight A. All right. Uh, change color. Zero eight A. There we go. Wow, that bumped the value up substantially. That's a lot, actually, and it didn't even like the, the, the car isn't even like put together yet. Holy crap! All right, I need to skip some. Uh, Nighttime here so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Okay, that's much better. So we need, what do we need? We need uh, headlights. We need a left blinker. We need a left rear view. Uh, we need a rear view inside. And we need, like, all of the freaking glass. Except for... Well, you know what? I'll do that later. Um, I'm going to forget what I was saying there. Uh, Neve, body, mirror, left. Yeah, I want the black one. Uh, we'll take a rear view there. Like I said, I think I'm going to skip the bumpers. Um, windows, no, not windows, uh, interior. Uh, we may as well get door panels. Take that one. Um, take both of those. Do I want to do a headliner? I mean, I may as well. Why not? Okay. Wait. Uh, lights. Headlight. 
Oh, I want clear blinkers. Yes. Give me two of those too. Okay. Excellent. All right, let's shove this in there. Man, I missed a spot. Why didn't you guys tell me? <laughs> Wait, did I... I threw that can away too. Shit. <sighs> All right. Um, Should be under... Yeah. Let's get another can of that real quick. There we go. Very nice. Yeah, that's not bad. I'm okay with that color. All right. All right, so I need to fix... All right, I need the window winder for this one and the glass. So that's the right the right glass and window uh front right window lift front right window easy enough Right, get this trash out of here. And put this trash in there. I wonder if it'll let me do both of these at the same time without bolting them down. Uh yep. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I was only mildly upset about doing that. Okay. There we go. Nice. Very good. All right. So these panels here don't match um, the fronts, but I guess I don't really care. Boom. Done. Alright, so we got glass on this side. Uh, we need rear glass. We need... What's this? Oh, let's see the door panel. Okay. Throw that over here. Alright, this is the rear door panel. It goes there. Very nice. Um, we have window glass on that side, so we can throw this in there. Done. All right, we need, we need rear glass and we need rear left glass. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Stuck on the table. All right. Rear. Left. And window rear. Okay. Boom. There's that. I like that the Neve has um, black trim around the windows instead of chrome. It looks so much better. All right. Glass done. Uh, door panel's done. Sweet. Oh, I need to do taillights, too. All right, I need my screwdriver. That's not what I was trying to do. Uh, I want to take out the grill. I do not remember what attaches it. That's what attaches it. Excellent. Okay. Get that trash out of there. All right. Man, I missed another spot with the paint. <clears throat> All right. Who cares? Nobody's going to see that. 
It's fine. Okay, get this in there. And that. There we go. All right, snap that back on and tighten the invisible screws. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. All right. That's, um, oh my God, what? There we go. Get this ugly crap out of there and put fancy new ones in. This is right. And left. You know another car that's that people might consider being a piece of crap, but I really want uh, is the Skoda Octavia that is in my summer car, the Rusco. I really want one of those. <laughs> they were sold in the United States too, and I have never in my life seen one. At least if I did, I didn't know what it was. But uh, yeah. I would love to have one of those. Something about the whole, like, um, uh, two-door wagon thing, like shooting brake sort of design. I love that. And I know that that is a very, very unpopular opinion. But, like, the, the Volkswagen Fox wagon, that's another example. Two-door, a two-door wagon car. I love them. All right. This thing is looking pretty fly. Oh, we need taillights, too. We better get those done. Uh, accessorize. And I think there's only... Oh, no, there's two There's two different ones. There's tinted ones and regular. I, of course, will buy the tinted ones. Of course, if I had to go to Octavia of that era, which I think they were in the in in my summer car, I think it's of 1959, but I don't think those were I don't think the um the actual Skoda Octavia was made until 1960, if I remember correctly. Uh but obviously I would put like a modern Volkswagen engine in it since Volkswagen owns Skoda now, so yeah, that would be uh that'd be fun. There we go. It does kind of look weird without bumpers, but I think I'm going to just leave it that way. Very minimal. Which I uh, kind of dig. The scoop actually doesn't even look ridiculous either. It looks alright. Pretty neat. Pretty good. Uh... Oh, I need a thousand bulbs. Um, I think I have some in here. Um, spark plugs. Those are not bulbs. Headlights. There's a headlight bulb right there. Okay. I'll take that. And in you go. And we'll take this one. Fail. There you go. All right. Uh, there is one of these. So that means I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. All right. 
So two boxes are due. Okay, one there. Three there. And run back, get the other one. Could have just put them in my bag, but I'm not thinking about it. All right. Here we go. Now I have an, yet another single box of bulbs. For some reason, I keep ending up with just one. There we go. And there we go. There we go. There we go. Another one there. Another one there. There we go. All right, man. I think this thing is freaking done. I'm going to keep that I'm going to keep that old school steering wheel as well, I think. So all we got to do now is get these tires changed out to uh to the way that I want them. So let's see if we can drive this thing in the garage and not crash it. Oh god. Okay, I had absolutely no brakes. Yeah, I don't know what the heck was going on with the brakes there, but it did not work when I was going forward. All right, I think I can just leave the arms where they're at. Perfect. <laughs> okay. All right, grab my wrench, get these wheels off. Boing. All right, there we go. Right, so I do have adjustable springs on this as well. So I think that's going to change how... Um, when I put uh, the bigger wheels on this, it's going to change... Uh, or bigger tires, I mean. It's going to change the uh, suspension setup a little bit. So I might have to either raise it up or or lower it down, I guess. I don't even know. I guess we'll find out here in a minute. Let me uh, take this thing over to um, what's his nuts over there. Bonk. All right. And reverse. Let me. Cool. All right. Oh, my God, this thing is really squirrely. Okay. I like how you have to hit the button like a thousand times for the freaking uh, transmission to go out of park. I'm not really sure what that's all about. Someone is hosting rally events around the country. Thinking about taking part in one of them? All right. So these are 15... Those are just regular 15s. Uh, f 
15 highs. All right, so we're going to try these and see how that looks. Um, did that actually get on there? Wow, those are meaty. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I guess that's what we're doing. Um, oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's thick. All right, I think I'm going to try something different, too. While I'm here, I'm going to do something just a little bit different. All right, so we want 15 highs. Oh, yeah. Those are thick. Okay, let's... Pop that off. I realize these are brand new wheels and tires, but... Um, in the bin they go. All right, so let me get one of these and just a regular 15, not skinny. Actually, let me just grab two of them while I'm here. All right, let me get a regular 15 high again. And there we go. So these will be for the front. So the fronts won't look quite so silly. And they should be the same diameter. They are. So that won't screw up the all-wheel drive. All right. I think that's what I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, those are some uh Those are some meaty boys there. Here. I can I don't know why the heck I bothered to dismount the tire and then throw them both away separately. It didn't really make any sense. All right, uh, 15 highs. Slap it on there. Boom, there we go. Okay. This is going to look way better. Way more better. All right. Get in the car. Now, this is assuming we can make it back without having a massive accident. Okay, yeah, for some reason, he just, like... I pushed the button, like, a thousand times before the transmission shifts into gear. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, my God. All right. Jesus Christ. Okay. Part. All right. There we go. Phew. All right. We made it. Yeah. Driving this thing sucks, man. <laughs> it's terrible. All right. So we need to paint these too. Um. So what color should we paint them? I think I've done black wheels enough times that it's kind of boring now. What else do we got here? We could do a really silly color, or we could just do something uh, a little bit more normal, too. Um, I don't really know. All right, here's what I'm kind of thinking. Maybe something like... Yeah, how about like this? And we can't do like metallic in this game, so... It's hard to do like a... Like a proper like... Bronzed looking wheel. So this is probably as good as we're going to get. 
But I think that'll be fine. Alright, let's mount this. Wrench. There you are. Okay, this is going to look pretty good, I think. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's get these on. Let's get these painted and get it on here. I'm, I'm excited. Oh, you son of a... All right. As expected, that wasn't going to work. Painting wheels in this game is weird. It just sometimes it just does not freaking work. And I don't know why. What the hell? Okay. Let's try this again. All right, that's not working even a little bit. Great. Okay. Oh, you piece of crap. Come on. All right. He's just pushing the wheel around now. That's fun. Okay, I don't understand why I can't paint this. Like, just not working. Oh my god! Gonna lose it! What the crap, man? Alright, fine. Here, let's take it off the... Can I paint it now? Oh, for Christ's sakes. All right. Another freaking can of paint. Oh, cool. All right. So you're just going to fall down there. That's fine. I don't understand why this doesn't work. All right, well, that's going to look really freaking dumb. <laughs> what the hell? All right. Well, I guess that's just the way it's going to look because I can't freaking paint it any other way. All right, my car's having a little bit of a freak out on the lift here. All right, maybe I can paint it now that it's mounted. Why is it doing that? Every time I turn around, it just like, oh, there we go. Look at that. All right, so I guess we just mount them first, and then it, then it works. I can do that. Oh, this thing is making me nervous, man. It's going to fall off the lift and just do, like, catastrophic damage. I can see it. Okay, where's my paint? There we go. Yeah, it works just fine that way. Boy, that's weird. Just relax, car. Oh my god. Okay. I, I will... Okay. All right. This is, this is great. I'm not sure what's happening here. Okay. This is, this is fun. I am having a good time. I am happy. Oh, you know what? The freaking lift arm is in the way, I bet.
because it's just moving around on its own here. All right. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, for crying out loud. I just want to mount the friggin' tire on the, or friggin' wheel on the car. Oh my god, why? Jeez. There we go. Jeez, why was that such a pain? F sakes. Alright. There we go. Drop her down. Well, I gotta I gotta inflate the tires now, which takes like four and a half hours. Yep, I don't know why this takes so long. This is the reality that we live in. Okay. Great. God. All right. <laughs> ah. Okay. Wow. There we go. All right, so let's drop this thing down and see what she looks like. Okay, all right. It's still riding higher than I was expecting it to. But we can fix that. Go two clicks in the rear. Probably two in the front as well. And one more. Okay, yep. I have got to say, that doesn't look bad now. It looked a little bit silly before with those lower profile tires on there. That looks pretty good. Now, if we could only, like, tub it out and get some big-ass flares on this, but you can't do that on the Neve, unfortunately. Sweet. Does that mean it's done? I think that means it's done. Fantastic. Does that mean we should drive it? I'm so scared to drive this thing. All right, we got to tint it up, too. I think the three is the darkest one, so I'll put that on the rear window. Yeah, there we go. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this thing looks pretty sweet. Oh, God. 
Okay. Yeah, this thing just like... Whoa, excuse me. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> oh, such fun. Alright, there's 320 kilometers an hour. Whoa god, that car came out of nowhere. I looked at the speedometer for one second. Yeah, we need tall we need taller gears. I don't think there are any taller gears than this. Oh crap. Oh crap. Okay. <laughs> I need to be a little more careful here. Oh, is that my road? No, that's the the town. Yeah, I can just leave it in like fifth gear. Just drive it that way. Oh wait, there's the uh the airport right there. This is probably not the smartest thing to do. Okay, that was fine. Okay, where's the sign? There it is. <laughs> Get me out of this thing. We'll do another drag race here. Yeah. My best is a nine second. Nine one, I guess. Crap. All right. Oh, my God. All right, here we go. What if I can go faster this time? Yes, I did. Sweet. Yeah, this thing is stupid fast. So if I remember correctly, there wasn't a reward last time. Hop out and take a look. Yeah, just another trophy. That's fine. I'll take a trophy, why not? Boink. Alright. So it's a little bit faster now. And it has a slightly higher top speed. These are all good things. And it actually seems to handle all right. With those different sized tires front and rear. So I could probably, if I had enough self-restraint, I could probably do some of the other races with it and it would be fine. Whoa! The biggest problem is just, like, paying attention to how fast I'm actually going, because it's really, really hard to tell. Is this the road back out to the... to the main road? It does not appear to be. 
Where the hell am I? Whoa, there was a building that just spawned in there. Alright, I appear to be lost. Where's this go? Map, please. Alright, so I need to take a right. Okay. This way. Oh, God. Do I need to take that turn? I am so lost. Holy crap. I have no idea where I'm at. All right. So I needed to take that right. Just casually rip down this road at 300 kilometers an hour for a second. Whoa, crap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I broke something. What did I break? Probably a taillight. All right. That's not a big deal. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think I blew a tire or something, too. Jeez. You have one little off-road excursion at 200 miles an hour, and, yet, and this happens. Well, I guess we're going to be replacing the tires again. Okay. Am I going the right way? I am not. So this should be this should be the road on that like takes you back from the town. Whoa. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? Forget this. Uh, do that, that, and this, and that, and get out. Oh, I broke the rear glass too. Damn it. Yep, and totally munched up that wheel. Oh, and this glass is gone, too. Ah, good grief. Wasn't that hard of a hit. Good lord. All right, well, here we go. Let's send this back to the sign. Whoops, and uh, I guess we need to... Uh, pick that up. Okay, and now we need to taxi to the garage. Okay, well, I guess we'll fix this next episode. <laughs> that's what I get for driving my stuff I'm actually pretty happy with how this thing looks though for the most part I think those those thicker tires are definitely what it needed so yeah I think that's going to do it for me today so as always thank you all so much for hanging out with me today I really appreciate it I had a good time I hope you did too uh, I really appreciate every view that I get. Um, every single person that decides to uh, think of me during their day and check out my videos, I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. So, And, and once again, um, thanks again to uh, Borg Hill Driving for sending me that super thanks. That, uh, that really freaking made my day, honestly. Really did. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it for me. I will see you all on the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye. Ah, <sighs> gotta fix it again.
Uh, what are you going to do?